So um, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we have a monomial and a, and a polynomial. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. No, no, this is not the time. So basically, I just want to go over like some examples. Um, at least like define what a monomial and a polynomial are, and then kind of go over some examples because that's what we're going to be discussing so far. So far. All right. So a monomial is basically a number, a variable, or the product of a number and variable. Now, that could be product of two, you know, one or more, or I should probably say, product of a number um, of, of, I should probably say, one or more. Okay, because in reality, you don't, you could have more than one. But we're only going to really, we're only going to be considering monomials where there's a number times a variable, or a variable just a variable by itself, or an, or just a number by itself. But technically. You could have more than one uh, variable. But we're just going to deal with uh, one variable at the time. So a polynomial, in a very basic definition, is just the sum of, is basically the sum of one or, well, really, two or more variables. I'm sorry sum of two or more monomials. OK? And that's really it. So let's just kind of go over some examples. Example 5. Example x to the fourth power. Example negative 1 half x cubed. Does everybody see how those are either a number, a variable, or the product of a number and a variable? Right? We're not going to talk about these today, but this is also a monomial if you have two or more, if you have two variables or more than two variables. We're not going to discuss them though, this in chapter, but just a little FYI. Some polynomials. Oh. I should do some non-examples. Yeah, we'll go over some polynomials. Um, some polynomials, <coughs> example. Well, we've talked about, we've do gone over some polynomials. For instance, a quadratic is a polynomial. So what we just discussed last class period is an example of a polynomial. So those are polynomials. Um, you could also have negative 3x to the seventh plus 5. So you could have a polynomial raised to that. Okay. A couple things that are not poly polynomials. A um, couple non-examples is one we cannot have when we're looking at powers. Powers cannot be rational, nor can they be negative. So a non-example. I don't really know. I don't even see this in your homework, but it's good to have in your notes. Um, polynomials cannot be rational, or your powers cannot be rational. Therefore, x to the 1 half plus 3x squared, that's not a polynomial. You cannot have that to the 1 half power. Okay, And we'll talk about that more. Um, another non-example is you can't have the powers of your exponents cannot be negative. So therefore, you couldn't have um, 2 thirds x to the fifth plus 3x to the negative fourth. You can't have negative powers. okay? And the reason being is I don't want to go too far in advance with you guys. I just want you to kind of write them down because I don't, um, we're not going to be so concerned about what's a polynomial and what's not a polynomial. Um, but the <coughs> rational, which we'll learn later this year, produces a, a root. And the negative, again, which we'll go over later this year, produces a um, variable in the denominator. But I just wanted to present this to you. Again, the non-examples is not very important, so don't stress out really about this. But I want to present it to you because we are going to be start learning this stuff. Uh, main thing is, guys, know what a polynomial looks like. And just note, you cannot have rational powers or negative powers. 
And if you also just want to kind of remember, you can't have square roots. Those are not part of polynomials. No could you, nor could you have variables in the denominator. Okay, Just a little FYI. Anybody have any questions so far? <coughs>